Hello and welcome to the M Learning Studio tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a project inside of M Learning Studio. The first thing you need to do is go to your account that you've signed up for with your trial or after your purchase, and then enter in your username and your password, and then click login. Now as soon as you're logged in, if you see this initial prompt, it will let you know any new features that have come out with M Learning Studio. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Don't Show Me This Message Again. Now I can see all of my current projects that I'm working on, or I can come to the right hand side and I can add a project. Every course that I'm about to create, I just click over on the right hand side, Add a Project. Now it takes me to the ch it gives me a choice to either review only or author and review. If you want to review only, this means that you're going to be reviewing projects from other authoring tools. However, in this project, we're going to actually be building a course. So we're going to click on author and review. Now it takes me to my project information. The very first thing I need to do is select a project name. I'm going to go ahead and type in a name. and then I can assign it a group. Now group, you come up with your own groups and you can assign any project a group to help organize it better once you log in. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as the default group here. Now I can assign a project lead, whoever I want to be the lead in this project, and then I can notify them by email as well, and then come down to the due date. Now you can assign the uh, user a due date just by clicking on the calendar here or typing in the due date. The next thing you can do is either start from an empty course or start from a course template. A course template means that you've created some projects or you created a project in some sample um, pages <clears throat> and then saved it as a, a template. And that means that you can actually start from where you left off on other projects but create a completely new project with those pages still intact. Now down at the bottom, my last choice is to either create a flash a mobile or a flash and mobile. Now this only applies to the ultra premium level of M Learning Studio. So if you have the ultra premium level, you can do either a flash, a mobile or flash and mobile course. However, if you just have the standard premium, then all you can do is either, uh, the only thing that you can do with M Learning Studio is a mobile course. <clears throat> For now, we're gonna go ahead and click on flash and mobile, and then I'll click on go to next step. The first thing I do after I've selected Flash and Mobile is I select a Flash course interface style. Now there's a lot of different interfaces to choose from and you can also upload your own custom interface if you have one. I'm going to go ahead and select a Flash and I'm actually I'm going to select a Flash style <clears throat> and then click on go to next step. And now I need to select a mobile course interface. And we have a couple different ones with more being added. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of those interfaces that I like for now, and then click on go to next step. The final step is to assign other people to your project. Unlike other mobile authoring tools, M Learning Studio is actually a collaborative tool. So you can have other people working on the same course at the same time and all they have to do is log in from their own browser with their own login. Now if you want to assign somebody a course, it's as easy as selecting that person's name. If they're checked, <clears throat> if there's a checkbox next to their name, that means that when they log in, they'll be able to see this course. However, if they're not checked, if there's no check by their name, then when they log in, they will not be able to see that course. So from here, all I have to do is click on Create My Project. Now it will start to create your project, and once it's done, you now can start building your project. Now that the project has been created, you now have four steps that you can do within the project inside of M Learning Studio. The first step is to build and modify the course. This is where you can start adding different types of pages inside of the M Learning Studio course. Once you've added those pages, or if you want to get someone's feedback as you're adding those pages, someone can come in to test the course, which will allow them to review the content, to go through it page by page, to offer notes and suggestions about each page inside of the course. Once someone has done that, you can then, as the developer, come into the Manage Issues area, 
and make sure that all of the issues are taken care of about the course before it gets out to your learners. The last step is to get it from mLearning Studio to your own LMS or your own website. You do that by deploying the course. Now you can deploy the course in different methods like SCORM 1.2, SCORM 2004, AICC, or just a non-LMS web server as well. We're going to go ahead and talk about each of these steps, but first we're going to talk about build and modify the project. Now once you click on build and modify the project, it will actually launch the course authoring part of the mLearning Studio. Again, this is where you start adding your different types of pages for mLearning Studio. Now in each of the uh, tutorials coming next, we'll talk about the different types of pages there are inside, inside of mLearning Studio. But for now, this is how you would get to it inside of mLearning Studio to start actually building the content. We've just set up the project for now, but now we're going to start building the content.